Since Steve Jobs pulled out the iPhone from his pocket in 2007, the smartphone has changed a lot. Better cameras, better designs, and better music. But sadly, that seems to have come to an end. To be honest, when last did you see anything remarkably new on the smartphone? Be it an iPhone, a Samsung, or Techno. The most innovation we see on the smartphone these days is just about who can fit in more cameras on the back of the phone, who has longer battery life, and who has higher refresh rate, blah blah blah. The disappointing launch of the iPhone 15 is one example, where the switch to Type-C was presented like an Apple innovation even though we know that they were forced into that decision by the EU. The smartphone industry has basically peaked and has just been regurgitating old designs like the foldable phones and then a lot of talk about faster chips. And while this is not inherently bad and shows the maturity of the industry, the truth is that we might never see anything spectacularly new or exciting on the smartphone again. We have definitely come a long way from the first Motorola cell phones which had about 12 hours for 30 minutes of talk time to what we have today. But we must equally not become complacent with our achievements so far. One of Steve Jobs' design philosophy is that the device should be an extension of the user. It should feel like it's a part of them. And even though we have come a long way, we are not really there yet. You can argue that AR and VR devices like the Vision Pro and MetaQuest take us a step further. But really, unless these things become a lot smaller, there is no way we are going to wear them through the day the way we just take our phones along. And in my opinion, that is a big limitation. But this company named Humane has taken it further with a device I am quite excited about. Humane was started by two ex-Apple employees, Imram Chowdhury and Bethany Bongiorno. I hope I pronounced that right. And you can see the influence of Apple experience in the design and presentation of this device. The device is called the AI Pin. It has no screen and no dial pads. You just tap on it to prompt it to listen and take action based on the command you give to it. Unlike the Apple Vision Pro or the Meta Quest, which I don't think anybody will wear around for a whole day, it's actually very possible to wear the AI pin throughout the day and not feel like a weirdo. You see, the trend of innovation so far is that the size of the devices have continued to decrease as the compute power increases. And we are moving closer to an era where the technology doesn't have to be a device we hold, it will simply be invincible and react to us based on the gestures we make. The future is not on your face like the AR and VR glasses or in your pocket like the phone. It's a part of you. And this is why we have people like Elon Musk coming up with the neural link. In this video, you can see the AI pin on Bethany, Imran's wife. It's almost invincible. It runs a Qualcomm Snapdragon chip which makes it extremely fast. And you can tell from the speed of the response by the AI assistant. How much is this online? This is $28 online. It has an ultra-wide RGB camera with depth and motion sensors. You can play music, hear your text messages, emails, and schedules read back to you. There are a number of hand gestures to control the device like pinching your fingers, closing your hands, or even moving in a certain way. You can use it to search your phone or make calls. You can even use it to communicate with people who do not understand your language and have it translate what you said to them in your voice. Casi listos para enviar la versión final. We are almost ready to ship the final version. I noticed, however, that Imran did not demo watching a movie or YouTube or anything like that on the AI pin. And we all know that people want distractions. We want to watch movies and all that stuff, which is why the mobile phone gained the attention it did. It gave us everything we already did on a device we could carry anywhere. And social media is also widely used just like that. That might be a limitation that would disrupt the adoption of the AI pin. I have doubts in this regard. Also, the AI pin starts at $699 with a $28 monthly subscription that gives you access to a large suite of services including music from Tidal, access to Microsoft, Slack, and a host of other services. I think it's expensive, but I think it's worth the technological advancements. Now, what do you think about the AI pin? Leave your answer in the comment section.